Hey folks, we're out here with another episode of Aratus Lord of the Dead. Today we are playing the Wrath of the Necromancer DLC. Thank you so much to Aratus and the Aratus team for letting us have this copy. We're going to play on Good Always Wins because we haven't even finished the first floor yet. We've just been kind of playing around with the game and such, so we don't expect to be super proficient at it. And we don't think our build is going to be an end game or anything like that. But we decide that we like the Abomination. He's pretty cool. Uh, he's big and ugly, which is a plus when you're playing a monster-based game. Um, we'll start with his feature. So every time he does something, every time he takes a turn, he's going to do 15% stress damage to all enemies. That's pretty powerful. That's 60% of his base dread every turn, just passively. I don't know if any other minion has that much damage on its passive, just clicking every turn. I suspect not. Um, and you can actually see that his dread... It's not bad. It's plus three goes all the way up. I mean, you compare that to, I mean, you think of like a lich as something being super powerful, but then you look at his, he's only got plus two, right? Obviously the base is a little bit higher, but you know, plus two going up to seven, starting at 24. And this guy's also starting at 24. So, you know, is the abomination going to be the next big DPS guy? I guess we'll see. So the other really I really like is this Dread Roar. So this will do 65% to two targets with a shuffle. So that's really powerful. Uh, that's 130% of your base dread. And then you tack on the extra 60%. So that's 190% of your base dread that you're doing just with one attack. Plus you're getting a two unit shuffle out of it. That seems really strong. Um, and he's also got this break and swallow ability, which is essentially um, a finishing move. So, you know, he's got this from the Wraith. He's got the regen of a mummy. And then... I don't even know what this is. This is just kind of unique. It kind of reminds you of the Bounty Hunter's attack that hits two targets, but I mean, that one doesn't shuffle, and I think it does a little bit more damage, but um, yeah, pretty strong. We're happy with it. We're going to be playing a stress team, so the Wraith got some upgrades here. You got a feature, finally, which gives him even more accuracy and evasion. Uh, Ten more evasion on top of the evasion he gets from his trinket, which gives him five evasion for each block and ward so he's going to get he was already really dodgy so he's going to be plenty dodgy probably could sit in position one and one and two in the late game once you've got him skilled up i'm trying to decide whether i want a banshee do you like the ability to stun the front line i think we are going to take it i think at least initially the abomination is going to be taking quite a bit of damage if we don't stun the front line and we could do something like just bring a black widow Instead of the abomination, swap moon. But I mean, that's not really the best thing for a. Let's take a first look at the Wrath of Necromancer DLC type game. If you think about it, right? We upgraded our architecture buff first because one of the other changes is that these parts that you use to make your minions can be upgraded with digger souls. So that and the upgrade to the obelisk, which takes one rate. So we'll just make that guy now. Pretty important. So we're going to be focusing on that. And the other thing that we have that's new is potion making. We've made a couple of these. I guess you got to kind of mix and match and see what comes out. So that's kind of cool. And there's been a couple other changes, but we just want to kind of get in the game and try to pick up cultists as quickly as we can. It looks like this is our quickest path. One, two, three, four, five fights. But they're not difficult fights. Because what we want to do is we want to get regen items on our two frontliners. Obviously the regen item on the Abomination, the regen item on the Banshee. And hopefully that will carry us through the game. We're going to wait here because this guy likes to go into a stance. And we're going to set ourselves up for that. And we're going to use another ability we didn't talk about, which is the Shield. Which redirects damage to the Abomination. And then he's got some spikes that come out, which is pretty cool. I think that ability unto itself might be worth a mention if we didn't like his W ability so much. As you can see, it's pretty effective. Okay, he didn't stance, so we'll just hit the guy with the stun. Do the same thing again, we're going to wait. We actually got our stun here, so we're going to have to just throw it out there. Um... Where does this hit? First two? Let's get rid of that block. The Q, we're going to go for the middle guy. 
Now he's in a stance. Knock him out of the stance. What do we want to do here? I think we just... We just spike up for the Banshee. We do our AoE there. Nice thing about this AoE is it'll trigger the... Um, trigger heart attacks any guys that are at zero. And if you've played stress teams before, you know that... You know, they can hang around at zero for quite a while. We're going to do that same thing here. We're going to do a little attack in the middle and debuff the rest. And sure enough, we got a heart attack, so that's great. Spikes for you. And our team, so that's good. And yeah, just protecting the Banshee. Even though we don't exactly have much sustain of our own. We do have enough for stun, so we'll throw it out of here. Big single target that misses. Pretty good. Alright. So yeah, you pick up flasks the same way you would in any other piece of loot. Get that obelisk going so we get those digger souls. Don't have enough to do anything else. Could get some more digger souls. Another easy fight here. Alright, so we want... These guys are all kind of annoying. I guess we'll do double attack guy. I think he does the most. As long as we can keep these guys out of their stances anyway. Spike some Banshee. Not enough mana for a stun, so we'll leave. It's a little more damage than we want to be taking. I'm trying to remember how many fights it is before we get our class trinket. I think it's three. Takes much more than this one off the rest of them. That'll be not so good. It's pretty good. Should get our stun here. And we'll stop the bleeding. Um, really, none of this interests me, so we're just going to throw out our melee attack. I guess it's going to drive him insane for some reason. Um, 30, huh? This is a little weird, but... Ah. <laughs> Thought maybe we could take him out, but I guess not. Alright, we'll do a double curse here. Try to get a heart attack. All these options seem bad. I think we're gonna... Actually hit our, our debuff here. So this does a debuff to them. Uh... Losing or taking off evasion and accuracy, giving us evasion and accuracy. So that's. You know, we just want to stop our abomination from getting hit again. As best we can. Don't mind spending three mana to make that a little more likely. Unfortunately, uh, looks like we're not going to be able to get through. We can't cast our ultimate. This doesn't stack. Maybe we kill him first? Probably not. Alright, heart attack will do it. Step my eternal kingdom. Okay, I guess we'll use that for lack of a better item. Now take a look. Oh, we do get our class trinket now. Me. So that's good. So you can take a look. Um, Hound of Flesh, this is the one we'll be taking. So this gives the charge of Break and Shadow. So we'll get 10% regen. And then the Banshee can get a slipper, and we're, well, we'll use this eventually, but right now we're looking for our regen items to stop the bleeding. That's a good start. We're going to head over to Ire. We're going to get Drums of War. I need nothing. We'll get our passive. It looks like we leveled off. So let's get some hit points here. We get some dodge here and some dread here. We get some dread here, and we're not going to get anything on the Banshee. Looks like we did get some rags. 
we just throw these out there now. Can you get some more evasion if we can? This fight shouldn't be too tough. It's not too tough on the abomination. If they do attack, they'll probably attack the back. The challenge is going to be disrupting the stances. Although I guess we've got a double stance disrupt if we need it. So there you go. So we got our little heal off there. We get 15 vigor each turn. That's pretty good. I think we will use this just to get them out of the stance. It's really important with these guys to make sure they don't stab you. They're pretty darn easy if you keep their stances under control and they can one-shot things we don't. Yeah, just having those early ticks of regen really helpful. The same thing here, just shuffling to get him out of the stance. And she's not doing very well, though she killed one. Level 1 is always hit or miss before you have your key abilities skilled up. That's going in the wrong direction. I'm just stunned here. This never gets old. What we want to do is we want to get to another ticker regen. That is pretty far away though. We'd like to do that, but we're not gonna orchestrate it. It happens, it happens. Alright, not too bad. I feel okay about him going into the next fight. That's better than where he was before. Not going to need that. We don't have enough to upgrade. We do a sacrificial altar here. Um, I would like to see what the new guys give for items, but for now I think we're just going to be at the old standby of getting EXP for our minions. You know, you only get 50% for the... Oh, we do get... Uh... Wait, this isn't what we wanted. Maybe... Oh, I think it's I think it's Bone Golem that gets that. I think they gave ourselves a Radice XP. I think that's what we did there. That's fine. One or the other is fine. Uh, same sort of fight as last time, except we got a hammer. So we'll probably kill the hammer first, and then try to control these guys with the stance. Feeling okay with this regen. Probably should have shuffled him, but I guess we'll do that now. Right, we'll just get the A's out. Interesting thing about the spikes is I think the spikes only work if they redirect. It seems like that's been the case. Which is weird because. They're two separate lines. But who am I to argue? Although it does say redirect now. So you know when you're being redirected. So we'll know whether it works or not. I, I didn't see it last time. I thought uh, he got attacked and he didn't retaliate. Or maybe it's just the fact that it wasn't. Because it takes damage. It attacks. Huh? I like that should trigger, but it is what it is. It's a balance thing. He does seem pretty, pretty crazy out of the box. Oh, he doesn't need any more abilities. Don't have enough for Gormf here. We haven't skilled up our attack yet, so we're just going to sit here. A little stun in there. Just make sure Buddy doesn't escape. Less likely, I should probably say. I got a while. On the bright side, our abominations fully healed up, so that's great. 
If that was the main gist of things. Okay, level three brain, so if not one of our guys doesn't catch it. No, nope, they'll level up. Okay. So yeah, here we go. So we're gonna get the 65% stress damage. So now we actually have an attack with this guy. We don't have to use our spikes. We'll stick a figure here. Um, Banshee's a good question. We use this stress attack quite a bit. Just try to remember what it all does. There's all buffs, that's pretty good. I think we'll go with that. And this is always the three targets, right? Next two positions, yeah. We're only using one ability with this young lady. We are gonna take the interrupt stances because it's pretty important later in the later on the floors when we're taking out those the end is near guys. Doomsayers, I think they're called. Got enough digger souls to do an upgrade, so we'll make a banshee. What's that? Oh, I didn't even see we picked that up. Minion becomes immune to ignition. Seems pretty situational. But maybe if we're fighting the pyromancer or something, it becomes really good. Actually, you know what that would work with is a lich, right? Seems like a lot of trouble to go to, though. Maybe you want to put that on the frontliner and use uh, Rain of Fire. This could be a thing. We'll have to try it out. Alright, we still don't have the class item for the Banshee, and this frontline can do quite a bit of damage, so I think we might actually start out with the, with the guard here. I don't think we're going to stick with it the whole way. Just because I don't really want to sit here all these guys wail on us. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't a rebuild. And that was, uh... So I guess his spikes are working regardless. Seemed pretty strong, too. I mean, he screams physical, or, uh... Stress comp because of his stress, but I mean, that's just reasonable all around tank damage. I think we're just gonna keep it up here. We are gonna get the, the uh, Banshee Slipper in the next room, but I don't really want to push my luck with her. Get that through. Should we stun here? Don't need regen. Become part of the oh, thank you. Tide. So I guess we'll talk about the last boss now. This is a spoiler. Um, you know, we're going to be doing this whole run, but it is the first time we fought all these bosses, so we've never actually beat the end boss. But she's got a mechanic. Basically, she comes with three friends that are just just really buffed versions of regular minions and it basically says that if you do any damage to her all her living minions are going to attack you which means that aoe abilities and maybe even this feature which attacks her every turn is going to be problematic so that's why we've kind of cut down on the aoe a little bit here we originally had a lost soul in the past position and then the abomination was just really being a pain in the butt but we think we can uh, overcome it. We may not use the Abomination for the last fight. I haven't decided yet. What we'll probably do is go in and attempt the fight, and then if things are just going terribly wrong, we'll just back out. What we want to do is we want to do as much as possible the same comp position the whole way through, except that we will be replacing the, the Bride, because uh, the Bride's not... I don't think uh, a minion that you want to be taken all the way to the end. Well, this is good. We got our second class item. It's the slipper. So that gives the Banshee a little bit of sustain. She's not quite the sustain tank that we want because she's only got 32% evasion. We kind of want to, we need this up around 50% for her to be uh, sustainable by herself. But this is going to help. So we are investing in her as much as we can just to get that evasion up where we can get it. 
I mean, hopefully we'll get some artifacts and maybe even... I don't know if there were items before that gave evasion, but... There may be now. We don't know all the new stuff that's in here. And of course, she'll get Blossom Wars too, which will have quite a bit. So their whole team's acting before us. Um, probably start on one of these miners. And hopefully she can just stand around now. We're going to leave her alone and see how she does. We're just going to spread out our attacks here. Get the Abomination to do a shuffle. Get both the miners. Which of course opens us up to these attacks, but what are you going to do? Start with this good fella. There we go. Just dodged one and got a heal in there. That was good. Now we're getting stuns. So this should mitigate quite a bit. Want to hit this guy, so... Let's get some interesting targeting. You can basically hit the front three positions with it. And the two you hit have to be adjacent. That is a limitation. But not one that isn't is insurmountable. We will can we kill this guy? Deal 100 percent 24 to 30 sanity. And then if it's below 20%. Oh yeah. You're dead. So 15 vigor each turn. How come it's 15? Oh, because we gain hit points, of course. Duh. So that's good, yeah. Scales with hit points. It's gonna get tougher as we go up the floors, and that's kind of what you're looking for. And the minion, good early to move. Well, terrible really early, but now that his regen's kicked in, I think he's gonna be a pretty good contributor. This won't kill him, but it'll do a lot. Actually, that wasn't really worth it. Probably should have waited there. Now we don't have the mana to execute. Looks like we're gonna get away with it though. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah. Okay, vampire fangs, that's always a good item. I've been thinking about this one. I mean the abomination's pretty cool and all. That would make him really tanky. Are we really worried about him, or are we worried about the Banshee? And does the Banshee do enough damage to make the Vampire Farms worthwhile? And if she's taking damage, haven't we kind of built her wrong? Now the Wraith, on the other hand... He's going to get super evasion -y later on, but... Without the ability to layer on blocks and wards later in the fight, we're not going to be able to get his evasion back up once we've lost it. So... We are going to hold on to it right now. Oh, we're going to level 4 brain. We're going to hold on to it for now, but we're certainly leaning towards using it on him. That looks fine. We can get some more health. So this costs 5 now. That's quite a bit. We'll start adding Dread. This is pretty cheap. We want... I don't want to say equal quantities of both, but we want... Well, I guess eventually we do. Let's hit five here. Yeah, we want, we want both of those. Same thing with the Banshee, but she's not there yet. Here we're just focused on Dread and Dread. All right, let's take a look at the big picture. It's an interesting map, it's very symmetrical. So this one's got light em up guys, so the idea is going to be to try to get this guy to the front as quickly as possible. So that will be accomplished by doing this. And then we've got shuffle abilities on almost all of our guys. Um, the problem is we don't really want to switch to random positions here. 
We want that light up to trigger. So I don't think we use this ability yet. I think we just debuff the side. And when does he act? He acts towards the end. Let him do his thing here. Are we in the new turn yet? We are. Okay, so we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Can we get the lighten up? Let all of them act. Do their worst. Alright, let's see how this shuffle goes. It's not quite what we were looking for. So let's. There we go. We'll throw the stun. We should kill them all. I get really close. Um, they were stunned, so let's just wait and see what happens. Pretty good. Oh, we'll just use a physical attack here. Job on level four. Eh. Not really what we're looking for. This will give us some more regen, so that'll be nice. That will probably be at the end of us looking around for regen. I guess we could get the wraith item right here. Got a couple of sacrificial pits here too. Well, there's one there. Let's check the event out and see what we get. Let's play the dwarf again. No. Your undead host is spotted living in patrol. Come on, so these just regular dudes. Oh, okay. First floor we play. <laughs> Not too worried about it. Well, these elite miners can do quite a bit of damage. So what do we want to do here? Can't actually hit this guy, so I guess we'll focus. We'll try to kill the miners first. And then we'll get them locked in a stun lock. And hopefully not take too much damage from these guys. Let's see. These guys are less effective from the back, so let's just keep knocking them back as best we can. Shuffle the stance here. Pretty good stress damage for floor one. Like right where we want them. Double miner in our trap. We got our heal off. That's good. We'll wait here to get them both on the next round. Or will we? We just allowed this guy to act, did we? We just try to take him out with a big attack. That was pretty good. Fresh corpses. Do shuffle. <laughs> Frontline's not feeling all that durable. We'll see how it improves as the game goes on. Might turn out this is like a not an eternal harvest build. Like we said, we're not really looking for builds. We're just kind of showing off what the guys can do. Now they might fit into a, a new team. Flask level six brain. I think that's higher than what we're at. Oh, oh look at that stat points for everybody. It's a little unfortunate because we're not going to be keeping the bride, but I can't really argue with free stat points. I guess I kind of just did. Got some evasion here. Can't get anything here. I think we just go with whichever one's higher. Probably for the best. I'm gonna 
we're trying to do here. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, level six brain. I think we put in the A bomb. I think the A bomb is kind of our. Well, maybe actually we're loading up the banshee here. Still feel like she's the most vulnerable. What we want here is we want as much evasion as we can get. So we can get two for this. The trade off is. They lose less. Well, that seems just seems better. Did we miss something here? We did. Okay, we're going for dread. We have five talent points. Wait. I embrace. We get five theory. talent points. All right, we got the regen. We can go in and we can get a new mummy. Mummy. Easier to make my enemies unlucky than being lucky myself. Just slide that guy in. Almost finished our obelisk. And then, yeah, okay, so. I think these two. We got like a coffin or another one. Yeah, I think this is the better way. We'll get the class trinket for the wraith. It's good. It's not going to do that much, but it's an extra 20% dodge in the beginning. It's better on teams that have some way to add blocks and wards, obviously, which we don't. So, you have to think about adding that in. Um, don't have any stance here, but we do have the Demolition Expert. So I think we'll just wait here, throw out our shuffle and see what happens. Alright, so he's going to wait right in the front. He's in the front now. So we'll keep off their side. A nice dodge in there. Go back three. And there's no reason not to... Let's see. Go for this guy. But now we'll wait. We're going to get him to light up. Just like last time. Before we do anything crazy. Alright, he's lighting up. Acting late in the next turn order. So we've already pushed him back to a good spot. Let's see. We've got plenty of shuffles left, so I think what we'll do is just continue shuffling them up and doing damage. Even though it puts them in a central spot here. Get them all kind of back together. Back three. Alright. Oh. Do we want to do this? 35 and 52. I don't think that'll kill him. We do have full wrath, though. Although we want to use that for a stun. We'll just... Yeah, we'll just... Keep the course going the way it is. One more for the stock. So it's taking any risks or anything. I'm dreaded and shuffled. Should check for this. Oh, it's attacking allies, alright. Assassinate this dude. Perfect. Okay. We got that and the experience book to use. Or did we use? We use the experience book. Okay. Artifact's pretty cool though. Let's see if we're right. Is it one golem? It gives you minion experience. We don't want minion experience since we've got a placeholder unit in here. Yeah, we don't have to use it yet. Yeah, that's right. What was that laughing mask that we saw there? I forget. Right. Significantly increases the chance to get attacked. 
I don't know if we really want significantly increased chance to get attacked. We do want blue rags. Dread. That's good stuff. This one should be a gimme, although obviously the elite miners can always mess your day up. Another demolition expert, so same thing. Wait these guys out. Alright, let's shuffle, see what happens to demolition expert. Okay, perfect. Can't hit the back line here, so we'll just push back the hunky. I'll do the back three since we know one of these, or any number of these three, will still be alive after we explode. And he hasn't activated yet, so we'll do the same thing. Let him activate. Plenty of time to act here. Just do back three. Alright, so I think we'll shuffle into the wherever. Okay, that works. And I guess that means. Can't use that from here. What do we want to do here? No, that's too risky. We we'll just sit here and check the team. We'll see what happens after the explosion. Looks like we're all acting before that. That's interesting. I don't remember their teams being this slow. There we go. Life vanishes from this world. All right, well, they survived and they got stunned for the trouble. Don't have enough for alt, but we do have a double target here. 21 and 24. Like, this is really good. Low level. This, this guy's fantastic. It just remains to be seen whether he's a position one or a position two. Could be a position two. Might not be able to maintain control harvest. Like I suspect just from watching his performance so far that he probably isn't. But you never know. Maybe he can with a vampire fang, so we'll see. Given that we just got a second vampire fang, so we don't have to think about using one. If we use it on him, it means we're not going to get any other kind of mitigation object, because that'll just be his items for the rest of the game. I'm wondering if that's enough. May not be. I think we still have to think about it. We have plenty of time here. We will go with the Dark Knight. Get Eratosy XP this time. We'll level up our team after. Black Feathers, Raven Feathers. When receiving damage, the minion gains plus four evasion until the end of camp combat. Can't stack more than five times. So this is more evasion. It's 20 extra evasion total. I mean, isn't that exactly what we're trying to do on the Banshee here? Right? I don't know if this is good, because we don't really want to get hit that often, but I mean, that's a lot of evasion. Right? That's a lot of evasion. Um, I think this is one of those characters where almost all of these abilities we're not going to care about. Although this one has the stun on it. Physical attack attacks three times. Obviously it's going to activate on hit effects and then it's got a 15% chance to stun. I think we want to try this at some point. The question is, is do we want to use it now? Might as well. It's a stun, right? Not a very reliable stun, but it is a stun. We're kind of stuck here. Oh, just noticing, I guess we can't get um, armor and resistance on this guy, huh? 
That's a bit of a drawback. You're playing as a tank. Eventually run out of things to buy on an offensive tank, although maybe we won't. We'll have to see. It's not what we meant to do, although we've got not quite enough digger souls. 100, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll just keep going. Double light him up guy. These demolition experts, I tell ya. Right, I think we need to wait this out. Right now they're cycling each other, which is kind of not great, because what happens if you leave them cycling they'll eventually get to the front. I mean you can't have enough unit you don't have enough units to actually push them back. Okay, the back guy acts first. We've got enough to just unload all our stuff. That's not good. Can't, didn't she go back though? She does. That actually works okay. It's the headsman we want to push back. Nice. All the way to the back. I guess we should have been waiting there. Okay, so this is that one. So we're gonna have a Banshee and... All right, we'll do this. Hopefully it shuffles great. Yeah, there you go, perfect. What more could you ask for? Question is, is do we risk this? I think we do. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. So we're continually pushing this headsman back. Again. Uh oh. Alright, so we need to shuffle now. Uh oh. Alright, so what do we do here? Do we stun? Or do we just take it? What is he going to do to us? Oh, he's this one. This one doesn't have light him up. Okay. 116. So that can't kill the abomination. Certainly can kill the banshee. Hmm. Are we stunned? Oh snap. Oh snap. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to conceal the Banshee. This is getting a little hairy here. Oh good. <laughs> Uh, we probably could have handled that better. We weren't expecting so many heart attacks. We just killed him too fast. That was our problem. Waiting for Battle Eternal. Need four. We got three. This will put us over the top for Digger's Souls. Uh, what is it? I'm trying to remember. Right, of course. And shade. Throw that sheen there. Get in there. The dead don't get All right, we're maxed out. Can't get another one. Can't get a talent. Everyone's spent their EXP. We got another quest. All right. Blah 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 blah. I don't really feel like doing an extra fight here. Lose attack or vigor? Well, vigor. Wow. Okay. That was really awesome. I think that shows up on their artifacts, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. 
That's a really nice little bonus there. I don't remember ever seeing that one before. So, oh, this is the giant. So we fought the giant before. Seems he's a little bit buggy with AoEs. Sometimes AoEs hit him twice, and sometimes they hit him once. I think they're only supposed to hit him once, so... I could be wrong about that, though, so don't quote me. So this now interrupts stances, but the problem is, is we can't interrupt... Where is it? Third ability. Stance. Okay, so we want to make sure... we got to keep the Doomsayer either out of position 4 or kill everything else. Well, that didn't work. We can hit position 4 with this, but he's got a block in the war. This is going to be interesting. So how are we going to get this block in the war off? To shuffle him. It's a great question. I don't think we have the answer just yet. Okay, well that doesn't matter too much because she's too far. Let's do the shuffle there. Oh, well, didn't shuffle. That's interesting. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Probably want to get rid of that. Let me see act next. So does it matter which side of him I touch? Does this, if I hit this side, does it hit three? No, it still hits two. Okay. Good to know. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not what we wanted. I'm going to go back to the back. I think we work on this dude. Get rid of his buffs, first of all. We can't actually hit him with this one, so I guess it's two targets here. And then we can't attack here. So yeah, this two space thing is really kind of messing with us here. I guess that's good. We do want challenges. Nice thing this goes off whether you're stunned or not, unlike the Black Widow. So that's something. I don't think we can actually hit him from the back. Let's get him up into range. He wants to come up front. Of him. Ooh. Got two actions in a row there while we weren't working. Can you be stunned? We'll see why not. Good. And I guess if we hit him, we get both. Sure. You're running away. I don't think we actually care about that. Normally we chase you, but I think we want you just to run away. We're happy with that. Nice. I mean, I guess we could stun him here. It must be. Why let him run away if you can kill him, right? Well, one reason to use it full sanity there. Let's see what we can do. This will be your end. Can't ultimate, unfortunately. Yeah, I got him, look at that. Wish we had a physical attack. No. We do, though. A magic attack, rather. A sad display from more good, good. Kind. Yeah, so far so good. It's only the first floor, but... The Abomination is definitely holding up as a tank. So we got item here, item here. We're definitely better off going this way. Although, Digger Souls, we should... should readjust my thinking there. Well, this is interesting. Reduces damage from elites. It's a sneaky good item. Elites are the ones that you're actually worried about. But this looks bad. I guess it would be better on a multi-strike unit. So you're missing every once in a while with your, if you got five attacks in a round, 
this could stack up pretty quickly, and then you've got 40 accuracy, but, I mean, why would I want a 40 accuracy trinket when I can probably get the mechanical eye? Unless they got rid of mechanical eye. There'd be no reason for that. I think we just take the Alabaster skin. I don't know if it's an end game item on our abomination, but it's gonna go on for now. Let's see where this takes us. Alright, let's see here. These are kind of tricky fights. Like, these Atomars and Mad Mages are no joke. And this guy's just a big meat bag in the middle. How much stress does he have? Or sanity, rather. And he's got sanity that scales with his... Like, it would be one thing if he had high health and low sanity, because, you know, he's an ogre, after all. But no, he's got the full meal deal on both ends. He's really a challenge. See, that hit twice. That, that hit twice. Right? I'm not crazy, right? We'll have to try that again. I'll have to take another look here. We should pay attention to our guys that are getting beat up here. So this isn't great. He's taking up both of my stun spots, so I don't like that. Alright. Oh, I want to test this out, but I need to kill this guy. <laughs> I can't just leave him there. He does too much damage. Um, I don't think it really matters. This one's only scary when she's buffed up. Try to take her out before she stabs the ogre. Good. We'll take her beating here. Alright, is this going to hit twice? Let's watch. Yeah, 22 and 25. So this guy will hit this guy twice. This guy will hit him once, right? That was once. Alright, I have to take a look. Still learning the mechanics. But we got Battle Eternal, so that's always nice to have in your back pocket. Looks like everybody leveled up. So we get our normal stuff here. Evasion and Dread. Evasion and Dread. Dread. Level 7, everybody made it, so we don't need to use that thing. Another altar. Did we use our last one? We did. Put that in. We'll get another Dark Knight. Get him sacrificed. Now we gotta start thinking about this last fight. And. Wait, that was a Dark Knight, right? Well, look at that. Whenever Aratus uses a pollution, this minion restores 10% bigger. That is cool. I don't know if that's balanced, but it's a cool idea. So yeah, we got to start thinking about this and what we're going to do. So we need strong single target attacks. Like, if we just drop the Abomination for Black Widow for the fight and just go single target, single target, single target, I mean, that's super boring, but does it work? Probably does. Especially if we use one of these vampire fangs on the wraith, which I think we're going to, because he's, you know, he's kind of low health, and we don't have a shielding healing minion on the team. So there we go, we've committed that. We've also got the battle eternal if we need it. Might be a good idea just to throw that out here, actually. They're all full health. We're a little banged up, so that works. Um, do 
don't think we want to use this explicitly for war training. We'll get one here. Oh, I guess we'll miss. And that... I just realized that that doesn't clear wards, so that's... I mean, that would be if it did so I'm kind of glad it doesn't, but disappointed for this run. Keep clearing wards. Try to get these guys in stun lock. Ouch. Alright, so we got a debuff summon, right? Yeah, we got two debuffs. But this guy's got a ward. So we clear the ward. Get the home shuffle. Alright, so you've got. Oh! That's irritating. You get a second chance, though. You want to strip the. Do we want to strip this? Or do we want to stun? It's only three attack. Let's do the stun. So just thinking about it. All three. Worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. All right, let's get this stripped down. All right. What are we thinking here? Uh, little stance here, actually. doesn't actually work because it ignores blocks and wards. So we'll just throw an attack here to clear it. Attacker 3. Nice. So we'll together with the future right there. Good. Ooh, purple dust. Do we use dust? That's a good question. I think we definitely use dust in the Wraith, right? We do. Yeah, that's a bunch of dread for us. At least one. Levels us up to... Here's all buff. Was initiative. Here's all buff. Was initiative. What's the difference between these two again? 120... Am I what the difference is here? Oh, this has the push. Okay, we don't care about the push. Don't care about the push at all. And this is just all about getting more dread. So we get that. Pass on that for now. 95 digger souls. Right, we definitely have enough to build some library. We can actually get two. So let's throw that Dark Knight in there. That's the second upgrade, which scrap of significant mortal knowledge down here. As dull as which. Good. Hey. We're good. Alright, we're getting there. XP. Actually, it feels so bad to do it with the, the temp unit in there. Uh, I can't get nothing here. We're getting towards the point where I might want some blocks and wards. Same thing here. Do we need any accuracy anywhere? 92 is not that great. Plus six for one, plus six for two, that's gotta be worth it. You're fine. Four for one, that's worth it. All right. 
Whoa, hang on. Rock golem. How are we going to kill a rock golem? Is it this? Does this kill rock golems? Not very well, because they have armor. Me. I mean, the bride can just shoot him down, right? It's not ideal. It might take a little while, but it is what it is. Question is, do we shoot him first or do we shoot him second? It could even be. And I think that we're going to actually buff up our bride because I think this is going to be a bit of a longer fight. Probably get the advantage over that in the long run. Look at that, he's healed up right almost to full. See, this is a bit of a pain in the ass because we can't actually stress either of these two. So maybe we just do. Oh, but these small attacks that attack three times, it's going to get really effed up by armor, isn't it? We're just going to do it because, yeah. Just want to kind of show what was going to happen there, but it's not great. And we got the Doomsayer. That was going to be a tough fight. I guess the Rock Ones are always a bit of a pain. I think with the Giants that they put in here, we're, we're losing a bunch of Rock Wall fights. That's what it sort of seemed like. There used to be a lot more Rock Wolves. Alright, you're getting messed up here. We're going to get Battle Eternal. We have nowhere near enough mana for it. And our Bride is almost dead. So we need to... Make the AoE damage stop. And we're just nowhere near that at this point. No, that's not good. So this could be a bit of a tough fight. The Bride doesn't have a lot of protection back there, and she doesn't have the ability to regen. So we're going to have to take out this Mad Mage pretty quickly. I wonder if physical damage is in the way to do it. That's going to take a while. Maybe we can shuffle him to the front and then get him with the... Uh... Yeah, here. That's better. I actually don't think he can do his, his aerial ability here from the front, can he? Where's his area? Yeah, so he's got to be in the back for this. So that works. Good. I like that ability. we got to get one of those multi-hit attacking thingies. Stress everybody here. And we'll just kill him with that. Alright, that takes a little bit of the pressure off. We will go. Which we want to take out first? Probably the Doomsayer. We don't really want to leave him for last. We could actually probably almost ult him. At a certain point, just do this to get his wards off. My darling nice. Kill. Hopefully, the Banshee can. No, I think the Banshee's gonna stun. You got a stun there. It's a possibility of mitigating so much more damage. Good. Um. Respect the Atomar and we just go all in here. Well, I suppose we're. Yeah, no, that's fine. We'll leave the rock alone at the end. Alright, single target. Ouch. Again, very cool that his regen triggers well stunned. 
figure out what we're going to do here. I guess we're just... Yeah. Oof, good dodge. Um... Right, no, this doesn't say anything. Let's waste our attack. Going with the big... The big nothing. I suppose we could have thought of something more productive to use, though. Gonna take forever. This is just gonna heal up our banshee while he's at it. Yeah. I don't even know if you can attack the banshee, to be honest. Or sorry, the bride. Good. It's taking a while, but we got it. <laughs> uh, Multi-hit attacks are great, except when you come up with this armor, huh? And no way to strip armor, of course. There we go. A sad right. display. We'll probably just think about a rock golems, but we need to keep in mind that we don't have the best team against that sort of stuff. Maybe we will see a fallen damp here and just go with the old damp here position for a machine gun build. We need to find one first. Uh, got the lost soul because we might actually run one of those at some point. Uh, it's just a normal fight for us. A little harder than usual. Oh. Ooh. That's not great. We need to find a way to regenerate mana. Mana regen is not good. Okay, let's stick up a miner and a block and a reward. This bride is not the optimal unit to be using at this point. You do not need single target stress damage. It's like the last thing we need right now. But we do need it for the boss fight, so. That, that was that fight. Should have used the A. Put these guys down pretty low. My kingdom comes. 54 is not enough to use our ultimate. So we'll just shuffle him. It is enough to stun though. Let's do that. I want to stun most of the time. Adamant's next. Got enough for no stun, so that's good. Unfortunately, we pushed the Adamant back, so hopefully, get rid of it now. Just one more action. Here. One last gasp here. Double last gasp, never mind. Well, that really sucks. Right before the boss fight, too. Forgot to check if there's a fountain. There probably is. Oh, well, we've got one more fight before then, right? Guarantees a brain. Huh? Well, let's think about this. So, level nine, our best brain is a eight, I think. A seven. Seven's fine. I think. I think we do drop the automaton right here. I think we do bring in the. Where are you? Black Widow. I'm not interested in any engagement. Anything we might want to do is bring in a Reaper. I, have my bride. Yeah, I don't really want to switch up the team too much. Reaper would be pretty good here, though. 
We're going to cocoon. Do we need the pole or do we need the resistance more? My I think it's the resistance. Can't actually remember. Surprise. Get the attack on our way to accuracy. Did we just get the dread already? Where's the dread? There's the dread. We'll grab that. Magic will shake the very foundations of this world. All right. So this we're going full vigor, and then what are we going to do with your? Well, we're just going to use one of these visages. There's really no reason not to. I think that's it. I think that's what you could do. Uh, the Banshee, what other abilities do we use? Probably nothing much. So we'll just go for the evasion here. We're not going to be using no stance. Dread and evasion. Dread and evasion. Six survival. Well, my minion. Some more dread. This doesn't matter at all. Let's get some accuracy. Alright. Let's grab our artifact first. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good too. I think it's the Wrath, though, given that we have some pretty strong Wrath abilities. So we'll use the Horn instead of the Broken Sword, which we never did use. Oh, we should use that, too. Um, Use that in the next fight. Get some experience. Don't need to use this girl yet. Let's level up our Abomination. All right, let's take a look at what else we got. We've been using this, so this is pretty good. Use that a little bit. We haven't used this, but it's good for repositioning, I suppose. We need to upgrade it, though. 5% uh, chance to kill is good. I think we just take the health. Get a little bit of extra regen on top of it. it looks like we've got a giant here with the... Is that a light him up guy? Yeah. Be interesting. Did you just bonk my banshee? Wasn't good. All right, let's get the light him up guy to the front like we usually do. So this will hit twice and shuffle just him. And it doesn't shuffle him. Oh, look at that! Can't be moved. I didn't even see that. It's way over there. Okay, that explains a lot. So, does he get hit twice? I saw a 15 and a 14. We should do a better experiment here. Alright, so he's got 277, and we're going to do a big OA. One of those was 15, now he's down to... Five. He had 277. And now he's at 253. Okay, so it does hit him twice. So that's good. Anyway, back to the game. Do we just wait here and let the big guy wail on us? And then let him explode? Or we just kill him? Like, he's pretty low. Let's just stun him. And zap him. And then do... We Triple attack. Oh, yeah, we could just check and see if you got two stacks of Ghostly Inferno. That would be a good way to look at it, right? That would be smart. The fact that these guys hit, get twice by EOE is a pretty big drawback of being big. I'm a pretty big guy myself, so I can tell you there are some drawbacks to being big. Getting hit twice by AoEs is probably one of them. 
Do that again. Should put the back guy in range of getting eaten. Good. <laughs> I like his little laugh after he does it. It's cool. 17 bigger times 2. That's pretty good. That'll pay the bills. I can't do it again. I can hit him twice. Good. Well, that the first level two space guys are just big sacks of meat. They're pretty boring. I feel like what we want for the last fight is probably a healing potion, right? Potion. Alright, yeah, we want one of these vampire bloods for sure, right? These are great for longer fights. Especially for like backliners that are going to take a little bit of damage. So that'll be for the bride. Wraith's already got a trinket. Banshee probably doesn't need one because she's got healing. She's level 10. She's like our, our top girl. What are we going to sacrifice here? Just do the same old, same old. Just repeatedly sacrificing Dark Knights. Um. Well, yeah, AoE is not a good thing. Although, I guess if I'm doing the AoE, it's not going to attack me. The first spell using a battle will cost zero mana. You know, that's not something we're going to use very often in the run. And that's basically a free battle eternal. So, I think that's good. We might want to use that. Is a good point of the game for something like that. Orb of Negation. Need debuffs. Okay. And I think we're gonna... Well, we should do our bigger souls first. Let's get our... Unfrozen. Excellent. Those that kill will Looks be like we well got a bowl present. here. We got more than a bowl. Let's see. None of that. You get anything out of it though? Nope, but it all adds up. And what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were upgrading our library. Alright, let's give this girl a go. We'll swap these up. Sorry, Mr. Abomination. This is not a good fight for you. It is a good fight for the Black Widow. Alright, so her feature is she doesn't escape, and when she receives damage, all allies instantly attack the minion who dealt damage, ignoring redirecting. And then after dying... All allies act twice and deal 300% more damage. So you can't kill her first and you can't hit her until all the other guys are dead. And it looks easy because, you know, it's like, oh, it's just these guys. But they've got more hit points. It's a 295. I mean, it's not ridiculous, but it's, it's basically a DPS check is what it is. So I think we'll start with the miner. Even though the headsman's probably... Oh my goodness. Did you just nearly one shot my We'll get that going on. Okay, so we can't touch her. So we gotta make sure we don't use our AoE here. Can't forget. So we can't stun here. Not that we have stun up. This guy's no, this girl is significantly more difficult than the Keymaster. That's all I gotta say. This is a good time for Battle Eternal. I'm gonna throw it out. <laughs> Miss a couple of times. All right, so you can't move forward yet, unless we alt, and if we alt, we trigger her. So that's not ideal. Maybe we just go in our stance here with the uh, extra damage that we might take. We can actually stun now. Well, stun plus get rid of a ward, I suppose. Good. Wow. 
late at night and I'm misclicking my idiots. <laughs> Look at the size of them. They take up they're four inches tall and I can't click them properly. I guess it depends how big your screen is, how big they are. I got a pretty big screen. They're, they're pretty big. Not being able to click them is a little embarrassing. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Yeah, so basically the gist is here. They, they don't do a ton of damage, really. They can if they build up their buffs, but... Oh, that's helpful. Hey. Alright, what do we want to do here? Can't hit the guy in the back. I guess we'll wait. We'll shuffle him out with the Banshee. There we go. This is probably a lot easier fight with physical comps. Like, if, you're, if your comp is, de is designed to do single target damage, like Bursty, you're, you're going to do this a lot easier. So, you know, if you're running like a Headhunter and, a, and like a a bride with lung piercer and stuff, you're going to do this much easier. All right, let's move this girl forward again properly. Get our stance. And now that we've killed the fourth unit, we can hit with all our abilities, which is good. Oh yeah, and she heals. But I don't think she heals Sandy. I haven't seen her heal Sandy. We can't see her abilities because we've never actually killed her. We can stun here, but... There's this ward, but we're not going to go over that ward without using a small AOE, so... Might as well. Not really using our Wrath or anything else. Now, did he gain... I think he did gain some stress there, didn't he? Or some sanity. I'll have to watch that. Oh, really? Come on, dude. Alright, maybe we go for this guy. Can't stun because of where she's standing. What did you get? Oh. Okay, fortunately we can go all the way back with our basic attack. And slow and steady against the race here. Unless he gets inspired. She's actually pretty easy to kill. She's only got 125 hit points. That's not really the point, though, is it? Good. Well, this fight's a lot easier when your entire team is based around AOE attacks. I had a magic damage build that was basically like Lich with like the double, the double Q that like randomly attacks things, and then I had, uh, yeah, it, it just, it wasn't good. It wasn't fun. This is slow, but it works. Good. That debuff is kind of handy, too. That's a pretty good buff that he, should, that he gets. 40 accuracy, 40 luck, 40% 40 damage. Gone. <laughs> Your time's gonna come here, lady. It's pretty hot, though. Better look in the Banshee. Alright. It's just us now. Kaboom. <laughs> well then. Good. Good stuff. See so if she drops anything new. Ooh, light cups. Using it as fertilizer. 
Okay, whenever an enemy moves, it receives 8 physical and 8 stress damage. It's actually not bad with um, with the Abomination. He's going to move 2 guys a turn. That's actually 16 stress damage a turn. I don't know how good that is. That's the only thing we're doing now. Everything else is pretty standard here. Yeah, so I think we'll put in a break here, guys. The end of the first floor. Hopefully you're enjoying our Wrath of the Necromancer content. And yeah, thanks once again to the um, Aratus team for sending out a advanced copy. So we're going to put out a video every day. So I think it's five days between now and the release. Oh no, I guess it's only two days. Or 326, is that when it's coming out? So four days. Anyway, we'll get them all out before the release. And I think we're going to start out a magic build too. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.